Hello everybody. Hey everybody, how are this, you doing? This has been a little bit of a while since we've done one of these lives, but hi, it's Chris here. And Amanda. And we are back in the office. We are um, socially distanced, <laughs> don't worry. Um, and yeah, we just thought we'd do a live because obviously we've had some really great news for the beauty industry um, coming out last night. Face treatments will be allowed again from tomorrow um, in areas where there are local restrictions. But it's really, really great. It's great that the beauty industry is able to sort of get back. Yeah, it's been a yeah. long, old journey. And, you know, you guys, it's been really tough times. So this is amazing news for all of those businesses in England who have absolutely been waiting to open their doors again. Because, you know, we know that you operate in a completely safe and hygienic manner. And it's been frustrating a little bit with the government, um, the kind of dragging along and the not knowing. So this is amazing news. Um, just to recap the face treatments that are allowed, just in case anybody hasn't actually seen the story on our website, um, microbathing, facial treatments, eyelash treatments, so that's extensions and lifts, um, eyebrow threading, intricate beard work if you're a barber, um, facial massage, facial waxing, makeup application, and also Botox if you are an aesthetic clinic. Yes. Um, and they've also said now, there's a slight change as well in terms of PPE, so you need to be wearing a visor as well as a face mask and this needs to be a type 2 surgical so make sure that you've got those um, before you sort of open your door but otherwise yeah. best of luck to everybody tomorrow um, know you guys are going to smash it and it's just it's fantastic news yeah i mean obviously we obviously had that little bit of a false start we thought it would be august the first i mean there's been so many false starts it feels like so it's great that even if we only got 34 out like mm. 24 26 however many hours of notice yeah. it's really great that we've got that um we've got a question that's come through just on the mask question mm. um do you have to wear masks for all treatments or just close contact from the guidance it's for every treatment so yeah it's better to be safe than sorry guys you know yeah. so it's a visor and a type 2 surgical mask for all treatments so make sure that you've got those and that you're operating according to the guidance Yes. Um, and obviously Chris mentioned as well that there are some areas that aren't able to open because they're under local restrictions. We will keep you updated about those areas as they come out and they are able to start offering treatments. Um, but yeah, we will keep you posted on that. Yeah, I think I saw something that said they're reviewing the restrictions for those areas next week. So hopefully, you know, if cases do go down and they remain steady in other areas, Hopefully everybody will be able to reopen again and it'll all be, you know, beauty will be back as a whole. Um, obviously there are the other areas of the UK, so this is just for England, but um, obviously in Wales, face treatments sort of are allowed if you have very, if you have a lot of PPE. Um, so do keep an eye on the PB website, check the local government websites as well, because all that information is there. Um, you just have to go looking for it sometimes on the government one. So we're trying to make it a bit easier. But... Yeah, and I think one other important thing to note is we know that reopening is just one step of the battle and actually getting extra funding for the industry is really, really important. Um, and we actually have a story on our website which is all about the different campaigns that are trying to get financial aid for the industry. Um, so definitely go and check that out. I mean, obviously, I, I know a lot of you will know about Beauty Bat, which is Carolyn Harans and the Hair and Beauty Charity, and they've raised a lot of money for people who haven't been able to sustain a living during lockdown. But there are some other really vital petitions going on, um, calling for, for example, a VAT cut for the beauty industry, just like the hospitality industry. And there's another one which is asking for a scheme to be launched, like the Eat It Out to Help Out scheme, which the hospitality industry has at the moment but a treat out to help out scheme so where the government gives vouchers to try and encourage people to go out and have a treatment at their salon so you know definitely go online sign these petitions and let's try and get some of this brought up in parliament yeah i think it, it's it's the encouraging people and making people realize that beauty is safe and that's why obviously so because we're all doing the ppe and, and everything is there and we're showing that beauty is as safe as it can be i think people will be coming back into salons hopefully and yeah it's all um all very exciting hopefully we're through the worst of it and that we can move on yeah. and it'll be really really good once everybody is is up and running again um so speaking of things that are up and coming <laughs> i guess a little bit of a segue. Um, you may have seen on our social media and on the PB website, we have Professional Beauty World, PB World, which is launching in September, um, which is an online digital event 
Um, we're going to have brands, we're going to have education, networking opportunities. So that is all going to be there. It's entirely free. You can sign up now and um, we've got schedules. We've got everything is sort of being loaded up onto the PV World website. Mm. It's running from September 8th to 10 and it's running from 8am to 8pm on each of those days because it is a global event. So we're going to be connecting you with um, industry pros from across the world. And one of the reasons we launched this is, you know, we saw how valuable digital communication was during lockdown and we wanted to continue to bring you education in this way. Mm. Um, and yeah, like Chris said, we're going to have a chance for you to meet with suppliers, distributors, talk to brands that you're interested in and set up virtual meetings. And we will have an amazing education lineup. We actually have six different educational yes. programs running across those three days. So something for everybody. I think some of the key ones for you guys is that we have a business conference which is professional beauty and hairdressers journal combined so that's going to be loads of business information for hairdressers beauty salons spas and mobile professionals we also have technical and creative workshops we've got experts who will be demoing treatments or doing 30 minute presentations about troubleshooting issues which isn't to be missed um, we have the world spa and wellness online conventions so for the spa industry um, aesthetic medicine line so anybody who's more into the advanced aesthetic side and then we will have the International Manufacturers Forum and Cosmetics, Ingredients and Packaging International. Now, I know that's a lot, but I've just thrown it to you guys. So if you do want to find out any more about any of those things, um, just head to the PB website and click on PB World. Yeah, or you can use the link in the bio on our Instagram page. There's a link that takes you straight through to the PB World main page there as well. So yeah, it's really, really exciting. Um, I know one of, when we were doing our webinars sort of a couple months ago, we had a session with um, salon owners from Dubai um, and sort of what they had opened earlier so the learnings from them mm -hmm. and that one was really popular so I think we've got people from Dubai, we've got people from India, South Africa, we've got Ireland involved so I think it'll be really good just to see how everybody is getting on and I think there are lots of things we can all learn sort mm -hmm. of from, from the different ways that people are approaching this situation and how the industry can keep on growing. Um, yeah, it's definitely about knowledge sharing and I think, you know, we can't get enough of that at the moment. So yes. it's definitely one to watch and yeah, we will keep you updated with any new developments on that. Yeah, so um, do keep an eye on that. Um, do register, we'll get you all the updates on. Keep an eye on our social media. Um, obviously, we've got Professional Beauty London, which is also happening in October. So keep an eye on social media for all of that. We've got information on stages and seminars. All that is going out at the moment as well. So do keep an eye. You can register through that for the link in the bio. We have more webinars coming up next week and the week after. So don't worry, we're not leaving those behind because we know... <laughs> The response to those has been amazing um, and just really thank you for everybody who has been joining us on those. Yeah, thank you guys. I mean, next week we've got an Instagram live with Shamadi and Reid on Wednesday from Beauty Stack and we're going to be talking about how we can get the industry the respect it deserves and what we can do ongoing to get the government to really understand the complexity of our industry. And then we also have a Lash Extensions troubleshooting webinar, so we'll be talking about all the issues you can face when doing classic Russian and volume lashes. Yeah. So they're definitely ones to check out. And lashes are back, which yeah, is perfect. Are back. <laughs> perfect timing. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything from us. So yeah, you'll be seeing us a little bit more in the office now. Yes. Um, but yeah, do let us know if you have any questions. And like we said, we'll be keeping you updated on those towns that are in lockdown about when restrictions are being eased. Definitely. So yeah, um, if you do have any questions or comments, we'll do our best to answer them as well on social. Um, and yeah, just keep an eye on the PB website as well for all that good information. But yeah. thank you very much, everyone. And we will see you very soon. Yeah, and tag us in your reopening stuff tomorrow. Yes. We'd love to see it. Please do that. Please do that. Okay, we'll see you soon, guys. Bye. Bye.